Alright, hello, hello everyone. This is Darkfire Slide here today to play some Payday 2. Now, what is Payday 2? Um, Payday 2 is essentially a bank robbing simulator. Um, the game's been out for about a year, year and a half, and has you doing a variety of different tasks. Not just robbing banks, but also helping do things like run cocaine. Uh, but the majority of the time, you're stealing things to make profit. Um, you spend said profit on weapons and uh, upgrading your character, so there's a there's a very deep, uh, well not very deep, but there's a pretty deep comp uh, progression system within the game itself that uh, you know has you coming back for more. Um, as you can see here, I am level 79. I've been playing the game for probably about 40 hours, uh, doing a variety of different tasks and whatnot. So my impressions are not uh, necessarily new, but uh, this should be a good overview of what the game is itself. Um, so let me just dive into it. So, basically, what happens here, and, and I'll go into my inventory first. Um, first you need to worry about, like, you know, what you're gonna equip yourself with, and here we have a, you know, variety of different weapons here. Like, this weapon here, um, is the AK-5. It's a, basically a, a Swedish variant of a gun known as the, uh, FNFNC, which stands for Fabrique Nationale, Fabrique Nationale Carbine. And basically, it's the FNFAL uh, rifle, but chambered in the 5.56mm round. Um, now, I have a couple of non-standard things on this, and one of the things that's interesting about this game is that you can get, you know, unlock modifications for your weapons by doing jobs. Um, so here I have this uh, adjustable stock that makes it a little bit easier to conceal, and I have an extended magazine that is not, you know, part of the stock weapon experience. Um, I also have uh, a couple of other weapons, like for example this uh, AK-47, which you may notice off the bat immediately has a very non-standard stock, but also has a red dot scope and a tactical rail right here, as well as this barrel extension, which makes it do a little bit more damage. Um, the last gun I currently have unlocked is this gun right here, which some of you may know as the Scher AUG. In this game, it's known as the UAR rifle, and um, as you can see, I have it unlocked a better magazine and this uh, non-standard tactical rail. Um, but you also have to worry about things like secondary weapons, and secondary weapons are anything from pistols, submachine guns, uh, some shotguns you can use as a secondary weapon. Um, and here I, here I have a variety of weapons. Uh, such as, for example, here we have the, uh, the P90, who... I can't remember if it was manufactured by FN, uh, but I digress. I've also got a, uh, MP5 here, um, featuring a grip used by the, uh, German Polizei forces. Um, as well as a variety of other pistols here. For example, we've got... Th th this pistol is called the Crosskill. Um, fairly clearly a 1911, even has the 45 ACP marking on it. Um, I've unlocked an extended magazine for it, which looks pretty silly, but it's very practical in, you know, in the actual battlefield. Um, and as well, you have a variety of different armors to choose from, and one of the things you have to worry about in Payday, um, you know, because you're probably thinking to yourself, why, why would I not just use, you know, bigger armor and, you know, go about you know, using the heaviest armor. Well, we have this thing here, you know, a detection risk. And basically, the more armor you wear, bigger guns you carry, um, the more you have to worry about people spotting you, um, even before you have your weapons out. So, when you're trying to do a mission without necessarily getting caught, um, you know, it definitely comes up that you'll want to use maybe a weapon that isn't as powerful, but is a lot easier to conceal. So that's definitely something to worry about. And finally, um, well, not finally, but you also have other equipment, um, such as, for example, I've unlocked a armor bag, which lets me put on heavier armor after I walk into a mission, a uh, trip mine, um, which I can also use to breach open safes, which is something I'll talk about in a minute. I also got this um, electronic countermeasure, or ECM jammer, it's called. Um, yeah, electronic countermeasure. So, uh, and this stops people from using cell phones and cameras reporting things and things of that nature. Finally, um, you have to choose a mask to wear. And I've, I've unlocked a couple masks. Like, for example, I've got this mask, uh, the vampire it's called. You know, very intimidating. Um, and another cool one I thought, uh, one of the first masks I got was, uh, this one, the, the Greek tragedy mask. 
And um, these will be, you know, visually displayed um, when you put on your mask in the game. Now, in addition to having to choose that kind of loadout, you also have um, skills and what's called a perk deck. And skills are uh, basically just different abilities you can unlock. Like, for example, here I've decided to invest a lot of, um, of the experience I've earned playing the game into uh, this tree right here, the Technician, which uh, allows me to get C4, um, gives me that ability I was telling about earlier, where I can breach open safes using uh, using trip mines. That's an ability I unlocked using this tree. And uh, these these abilities give you all sorts of different things that you will need to especially like complete the more difficult missions of the game. Um, I also have invested uh, points in this tree, the ghost tree, and anything you unlock in these trees is simultaneously active. So I can I can breach um, I can breach saves using the C4 uh, on my trip mines, but I also have this ability here that makes my um, item pickups more valuable. So like if I steal jewelry or something like that, it's going to be worth about 20% more money than it normally would have been. So. Um, as well, we have these things here called perk decks, and these are actually a fairly recent addition to Payday. And these give you um, a little bit of extra punch um, for a fairly hefty experience investment. And they range from just doing something like this, like your chance to dodge is increased by 10%, all the way to something like this, which increases uh, your damage by 5%, which is doesn't sound like a lot, but is pretty substantial. And every tree, once you finally unlock it, gives you another ability, as well as giving you a 10% chance to get a better item during the uh, payday, um, which we'll get to here. So that's kind of the overview of the characters and the skills, and now I'm going to go ahead and dive into the actual game. Um, I do want to add a little disclaimer at this part that um, I am running the free version of Bandicam at the moment, which is a recording software. Um, which you can kind of see up here at the top because it watermarks the video in the free version. But uh, Bandicam has a 10 minute uh, video limit, so at around 10 minutes there's going to be a little bit of a cut. Um, hopefully I can catch it in time so that you don't miss too much of the action. But basically, um, we're going to get into an actual job now. Um, and how you do that is you go to this, uh, you go to what's called CrimeNet. And basically, the the story is there's a you know you've got a um, ooh here's the job I want. So basically, you can pick a job, and from from this uh, overhaul you know overview menu, which kind of has a, like a map of uh, DC, which is the place that all these events are taking part in. Um, so I've chosen this job, which is a bank heist. We're trying to steal some money. Um, it'll be on hard difficulty, which is. Uh, kind of the second difficulty level, um, and here we can see we have a base experience payout of forty-three thousand five hundred, and the actual job payout is about seventy-five thousand dollars. And uh, so now we're just going to wait here in the lobby for a bit, hope for some people to show up. Um, while you're here, you can look at your inventory, modify weapons, choose choose a loadout, um, and it's important to do it here before you actually launch into the game, because. Um, once you're in a game, you cannot modify your weapons, you can only choose between different ones. Um, so, uh, I've actually seen this guy before. Alright, so he's asking me, um, if we're gonna try to do this mission stealthily or loud. And... And basically what we're gonna try to do is we're gonna try to get a good setup on the bank before we, um, actually go ahead and rob it. So, uh, yeah, Nightbat has joined us here. Level 44, so he's been playing for a little bit. Um, DJ Protege also joining now, and we just need one more person to join us, and then we can get right into the action. So yeah, a, a little bit of a waiting period here, um, which is not uncommon. Um, a lot of the time, you can join into a um, ongoing mission, or you know, join somebody else's lobby. But I, I wanted to make sure we got the right job here, so that I gave the best impression of this game I could. Alright, so just need one more person to join up here. Um, the bandy cam recording should stop fairly soon here. So I will count on that. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and loop a new track right now. Okay, so we're back again. 
just a little bit of a hiccup there. Uh, nothing missed. And just waiting for somebody to join up here. And, alright, uh, Carrot, who is the maximum level you can possibly be in the game. So, once he, um, is ready to go, we will go ahead and launch into the mission. Alright, he's ready, so we're gonna go ahead and start the heist. So here you kind of get an overview of what the actual job is going to be with a little description. It tells you because this is a bank job for cash doesn't mean it's going to be easy. You need to get into the bank vault. Try to control the civilians and tellers so they don't hit the alarm. The manager might have a key too. I'd wish you luck, but you don't need it, right? So yeah, you kind of get a uh, a pre-mission description from uh, Bane, who is the kind of the mastermind behind it all. Let's see, I'm gonna equip myself with some pretty heavy weapons here. I'm gonna go with this uh, P90 here and equip this AK-47. Or, in this game, the AK-762 rifle. Um, you can also get a good idea, uh, you can view the uh, bank ahead of time using this pre-planning period. And we're not gonna really need it, I've done this mission plenty of times. Um, so you can choose your loadout and also you can see what everyone else is wielding. So, um, we're gonna go ahead and launch into the mission with that, after I pick a track here. Okay, I'm good with that. Okay, and yeah, you can choose what kind of soundtrack you want to play on this, so, that's pretty fortunate. Keep an eye out for cameras. Where there's cameras, there's usually a security room. Money time. Okay, so here we are at the actual bank. We are, um... We are currently in what's called casing mode, and during casing mode you don't have your mask on, as you can probably tell by my uh, friends here. And in this mode you're a lot harder to detect, but you can't you can't really do much of anything. You can't pick locks, you can't crouch even, um, because that's considered a, suspic a uh, suspic suspicious activity, if I could talk right, I mean, grew up in America and I can't speak English apparently. Um, Alright, let's roll. So I'm going to go ahead and throw my mask on here now that we are behind the bank. Now I don't have any silenced weapons. But since we're planning on going loud into the bank anyway, we will uh it's not really going to be that big of an issue. Now you need to keep an eye out while you're while you haven't been detected to make sure nobody's going to like, you know, spot you that you don't want you that you know you don't want to see you. Okay, so my friends over there have found a civilian, and hostages are really important in Payday 2, and the reason for that, basically, is if you take hostages, when the police assaults actually commence, let's see, it doesn't look like there's anybody here, so I'm going to go ahead and advance a little bit. Okay, the security room is over here, interestingly enough. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and try to break into this. I don't want to use the, well, I guess I do have to use the drill. Um... So another thing I've unlocked for my character is, oh, all right. So we've been detected. All right. So the camera found out that we were here, and you can see how quickly things can kind of devolve here. Now, in this phase, we're kind of just getting people, you know, to get on the ground so that they don't get in the way once things start getting loud. And what I was saying earlier about hostages is it's important to take hostages because it gives the police less of an incentive to assault. We're going to fix this here just so it stops being loud. Um, the drills tend to break a lot in this game, which you'll find out. But yeah, we've kind of we got the situation under control for now. The police are hesitant to launch an assault because we've taken hostages. And the other thing about hostages and civilians is if you kill any civilians, you get a cash penalty, but the police also get um, much more aggressive. Now, another thing I do as a technician is um, I can upgrade drills to move a lot faster and so that they're quiet. As you can tell, this drill is pretty loud. And now it's nice and quiet. I don't know how realistic that is, but, you know, hey, it is what it is. So now we're just going to kind of check corners. Uh, the timer on that said 240 seconds, so about four minutes um, until we actually get the vault open and can start grabbing cash and other loot. But until then, we've got to hold out against a upcoming police assault. Stay down. Stay still. Come on, come on. Stay down. Got it. 
Now, the other way of doing this is uh, stealth, and how, how stealth goes basically is um, you try to kill guards and, you know, get to people without letting them uh, be able to call the police, and, you know, you have to take out cameras as well. Um, because if cameras see anything suspicious, they will automatically trip an alarm for the police to start attacking. So, I'm still this very tricky prospect, which is why I didn't want to necessarily do it uh, for a video. Um, so yeah, now we're just kind of hanging out. We have a lot of hostages. Ten is quite a hefty amount of hostages. And because we have so many hostages, I'm going to go ahead and tie this guy up too. Um, because we have so many hostages, the police are very hesitant to launch any sort of real assault on us. Oh, drill broke down again. Oh, okay, here's our first SWAT guy. He, uh, they tend to come in groups. So, um, we, we already know that they're going to try to come in through this back door, apparently. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set a, a trip mine here. So if anyone tries to come back this way, he'll get a nasty surprise of high explosives. Um, and it'll tell us that, you know, hey, somebody is coming this way. So it's, it's a kind of a double-edged thing there. Um, mines, uh, after a certain point that you unlock, also have the capability of telling you um, if a kind of like a special enemy is coming a certain way if you if you set the mines to that uh, trip here. Now I'm getting shot at. Alright, looks like he's there. Alright, boom, got him. Okay. So now the, uh, in the top right you can see there's a police assault going on, which means that uh, things are about to get very hairy for us. As you can see, they've got an armored car over there. Now, um, you don't have a particularly high amount of ammo. Oh, here we go. That was one of those special enemies I was telling you about there. Uh, that's called a cloaker. And cloakers, what they do... Oh, okay, so th that trip mine we were talking about... I keep getting distracted. Um, so we know somebody's upstairs now, because somebody set off this trip mine. So I'm gonna go ahead and clear it. Okay, there's a guy. I completely missed there. Pull out my submachine gun here. Alright, we got a guy with a shotgun. There we go. Alright, so... Alright, so we got more up here. I'm gonna switch to full auto. Take him out. Alright. Now, the other trip mine we had went off. And I will get back to the cloaker. Because it's important. But, the other trip mine's gone off, so we got this guy here. Took him by surprise, and, well, I botched that completely. But, uh... Alright, took those guys out as well. It looks like we're clear, so I'm gonna go ahead and set another mine. Friend's having a little bit of trouble here. Wow, he ducked out of the way. What a clever little guy. Alright. So he's taken care of. We're clear for the time being. Drill has broken again. This happens a lot. Got about two minutes left on the, uh... On this segment. So, expect a jump within that time period. So anyway, cloakers. Um, they're a type of what's called a special enemy. Now, special enemies um, do a variety of things. Like, one kind of special enemy is just a guy with a riot shield, uh, which is very hard to take out because bullets basically will not penetrate unless you have a very high caliber sniper rifle, for example. You gotta be careful there. See, he set the hostage free, but what you really want to make sure you do is you don't kill the civilians. As I said before, killing civilians is very bad. Got him. So... Oh, there's a cloaker. So, so what he does is he'll do like a crazy like ninja flip like that, and he will instantly take out anyone he gets with that. So it's really you know you gotta use a lot of teamwork for that. All right, almost set free a hostage there, but we thwarted that. Of, we thwarted that pretty effectively, I'd say. All right, so the safe's open. And oh. now this door is pretty hard to get through. Normally you just saw through it. But I'm going to go ahead and throw it on a shape charge, which should get us in. Oh, he's just going to go ahead and cut it open with his uh, his saw, which is an item you can equip. Now here we've got all the money. We've got the sweet, sweet loot that we've been here for in the first place. And I'll go ahead and take this time to reset the video. Okay, so we're back again. Nothing's really happened. Um, so as you can see, we put all the money into these duffel bags. And... Now we're kind of waiting for this guy um, to use his saw to kind of cut open all these uh, safe deposit boxes, which will net us a lot more money. So go ahead and get that. Alright, there we go. So yeah, um, 
ammunition count is very low in this game, which means you have to be very conservative with your ammunition. Otherwise, you find yourself in very, very bad situations. Um, enemies tend to drop uh, ammo when you kill them, but it's not a very high amount. So you still need to be very conservative. Got some funky techno music in the background. I actually very much like the soundtrack of this game. It's very... It's very fitting, I think. Oh. All right, here, here's another special enemy type. The, uh, the taser. Now, the taser... And, and oh, I, I apologize for that, by the way. The flashbangs in this are very bright, very disorienting, which they would be in real life, which I'm very appreciative that they are actually detrimental in this game. I mean, that's not just like a second of flash before, you know, you get taken out. All right, so we took out quite a few guys there. And as you can see, the assaults are getting a lot heavier. So we're really having to step up you know, our efforts here. He did not see that coming. It's like, it's like getting clotheslined, you know, it's like a, almost, almost, uh, like a cartoon, just, you know, walking along, BAM, you know, on the ground. Now, this video is a lot more informative than what I plan to do with the rest of my Let's Plays, but it does give a very good idea of what to expect from Payday, and why this game could be so interesting and so fun. Not that I should have to explain that, but hey. Alright, so here we've got a shield, and now nothing I shoot him with is going to really break through that. So what we have to do is, is flank him. Alright, now I'm kind of getting cornered here. Alright, so he's exposed his flank. Take him out. Get the other one too while we're at it. Two for the price of one. What a bargain. The guns also handle very realistically. I'm very impressed by the gunplay in this game. Um, this AK-762 kicks very hard. And it's pretty hard to control, which I'm really appreciative of, because most guns in games don't really kick all that much. And so it's really easy to just kind of, it's kind of almost like shooting a hose, I would say. But in this game, you know, guns behave a lot more realistically, which I'm pretty fond of. It, it adds a lot to the experience, I think. All right, so he's, he's kind of sawed open um, a lot of these safe deposit boxes, at least on this side. Um, and, you know, gotten all of the loot that that entails. Um, down here you can see our one of our friends has deployed an ammunition bag, um, which is one thing the Enforcer uh, skill tree gives you access to. Oh, my alley's going to go in front of me there. We'll just take care of these guys real quick. Whoa, okay. All right, we're going to my uh, buddy there to catch up. Use a little uh, team action there to get rid of those enemies. Alright, so, now the saw does run out of blades, which is, you know, the other reason you want ammo bags, is so you can refill the saw and, you know, get more loot. Now, I don't know how much more we're going to get out of this, um, but so far I'd, I'd say this heist has been pretty much a success. Everyone here seems to know what they're doing. Um, one of the things about Payday that I've noticed is that people actually tend to be pretty bad at robbing banks, especially when you're trying to do things without getting caught. People forget to do pretty basic things, but I'll cover that in another video. For the time being, let's just enjoy the, the sweet bounty of cash that we are currently experiencing. Take care of him real quick. This, uh, this, uh, P90 is very lethal. Extremely high fire rate, packed with all sorts of goodies. As well as a skill I picked up that increases the fire rate by an additional 20%. Which, on a submachine gun, is pretty substantial. Now, the the police forces have deployed some uh, gas over there, which means we're going to have to find a different way to escape than the main entrance. Which, you know, we probably should be doing anyway, but, you know, it is what it is. Which is a horrible saying, but that also is what it is. <laughs> Alright, so we're almost through all the safe deposit boxes here. Um, I don't know how much my... Friends here picked up, but we've got a couple more bags of money than we started out with here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start picking up and moving the bags of money into the main hall here. Now, if the police get too close to your bags, they will actually start picking them up and taking them away. All right, now as you can see, the police assault has ended at this point. Um, evidenced by you know the lack of a police assault thing in the top right. They freed a lot of our hostages, which means. They're going to be coming down a lot harder on us um, than they were before because now there's not as we don't have as much leverage on them 
to not assault us. As well, their primary objective at the moment is still to just free those hostages. Uh, one of whom is right here on the ground. Tied up, nice and cozy. Now, Payday has released a web series. Ah, well, that, that was bad. Alright. Um, Payday has released a web series about kind of um, the, like the lore of the universe, I would say, of, of this game. We're gonna just, we're just pick up. Oh, I dropped a bag at some point. Alright. So, pick up a bag. That was kind of a rookie mistake of mine. And we're just gonna start moving the bags over here because our escape van. Oh, that's a Taser. Take him out real quick. Getting tased in this game is not a good time. Your uh, muscles seize up, you start firing your weapon without control. It's pretty it's pretty grueling, I would say. But we're going to go ahead and drop some money bags right here. We're going to have to escape through the side because of that gas to avoid dying horribly. Alright, our buddy here got shot too many times, so I'm going to just walk up here. We're going to try to revive him real quick. Alright, they're getting up in our face. Oh my. Oh dear. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so we're taking care of the assault. And we just need to get the rest of the money bags out there. It's a, it's a pretty hefty process. When you've got more bags than you have people, it's uh, it can get tricky. Because you can only carry four bags at a time, but if you've got eight bags, that's at least two trips you're going to have to make if everyone makes it out. Okay, okay, so our buddy here is getting tased. Oh, I'm getting tased now, so yeah. Alright, but they got the taser down. As you can see, your limbs kind of seize up there, and you lose most control that you have over your own body. Um, in the bottom right there, you can see I'm, a I'm actually carrying some gold here, and, you know, generally speaking, the heavier the, the loot that you're carrying, the more difficult it is. Oh, shit, there's a sniper. Got him. Alright. Oh, wow. There are a lot of them out here. Yeah, we've spent a long time in that bank, so... The police assaults are getting fairly heavy indeed. And that guy got down again. And this is quickly becoming a very uh, tricky situation, I would say. Just some people through the fence here. Always important to go for headshots. Um, if only to conserve ammo, but also get people out of the fight more quickly. It looks like um, our friends here have cleared out the majority of the street. And I can pick up some ammunition real quick. And reload this uh, AK. Right now, uh, I think I'm going to be able to make it to this van. Okay. We'll just throw it in the... And here's our escape van. Um, when all of us are ready, we all just kind of line up in this square. And from there, we uh, can make our getaway. All right, so now now that the gold's off my back, I can sprint back to this uh, to where the money is, and we've gotten most of it, so we're doing really well here, I would say. And all right, um, very good cover fire from our friends here. As you can see, the engagements in this game can take a place at a very long range, and that makes it kind of interesting because you know even even though the cops are always played. By uh, you know AI, they they still do a pretty good job of containing you. All right, and that looks like all of the bags that we're gonna need. So now we can just make our getaway. Great work, professional work. All right. So this is a one-day job. So that's all we have to do for now. You get a you get an overview. We stole about um seven and a, seven and a half hundred thousand dollars here. And so, a lot of the money gets sent to your offshore account, but we made about $250,000 in raw cash. Um, here we've got a body count, highest body count. I downed about 97 cops there, um, <laughs> which sounds horrible, but, you know, such is the life. Um, this recording's about to end, so I'm going to restart real quick. And now we can go ahead and, and enter Payday. Now, Payday, um, you pick a card here, and it can be an assortment of, like, like a mask, for example, um, colors and patterns for those masks. Or, um, best of all, you can unlock, like, weapon modifications. Like, our friend Nightbat here has unlocked a, uh, a better, a police stock for the double barrel shotgun. Uh-oh. We're, wait we're waiting on our friend here to...
to pick a card, but if he's dropped out of the game, then that may completely invalidate everything that we've unlocked. Which would be unfortunate, I would say. It would be a bad introduction to the game. Okay, there we go. Okay. He was, he was just taking his time, you know. So our friend here has unlocked a Swedish barrel for the Swedish case of machine gun. And we'll go ahead and re-enter the lobby. And from here you can pick another job, uh, look at your inventory and stuff. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and leave the lobby. So that, in a nutshell, is Payday 2. And it's a, it's a game I'm, I'm very excited to make videos of and I hope to make more of in the future for hopefully more entertaining purposes. Um, that's the base, that's basically the game in a nutshell. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, um, please subscribe and like because it'll help uh, help the channel grow, especially as I release more videos. Um, and if you subscribe, it'll tell you when I upload a new video as well, um, in case you're unfamiliar with that process. But uh, again, thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next episode.